Today you're going to learn how to play I Have Failed by Crowbar and we're starting right now. What's up everyone, Steve Reese here again from Does It Doom, the YouTube channel where we feature weekly guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner, doom, sludge, and drone metal genres. So if that is your thing, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell for more weekly doom content. For this one, I'm playing this 1995 Epiphone G400. We are in B standard tuning. I've got a set of 12 to 56 strings on this guy. We are playing into a boss metal zone set up as Kirk runs his in Crowbar, which means we've got the gain all the way off, the level all the way up, and the EQ settings all at noon. From there, we're running directly into the high input of a Randall RG80 ES amplifier. Again, the same kind of amplifier that Kirk runs in Crowbar and has forever. And before we get going, I want to know what Crowbar song you'd like to see me break down next. You can leave that down in the comments below this video. And of course, as always, if you want to pick up the complete guitar and bass transcription for this lesson, as well as every other lesson you can find here on the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash does it doom, support the channel there and gain access to a ton of bonus content and additional resources. So with that, you can get your shit tuned down to B standard. We're going to start out with a quick demo, then we're going to come back and break it down riff by riff. Check it. Alright guys, so as mentioned in the introduction, we are in B standard tuning, so five semitones down from E standard. This one is in the key of A minor, which if we were in standard tuning would be played in the D minor position. So the root note that we're going to keep coming back to is at this fifth fret on the fifth string. And this song uses a ton of Phrygian mode riffs, the Phrygian scale. And so if you haven't checked it out or you'd like to learn more about scales and modes, you can always check out my doom metal scale guide i'll have a link for you to check it out learn more about intervals all the uh, relevant scales that we talk about in a lot of these videos uh, and of course the phrygian mode that we're going to use today so the first riff goes like this <laughs> simple riff one of my favorite crowbar riffs of all time actually but we're starting out with this root fourth dyad on the fifth fret i'm uh, on the fourth and fifth strings and we're hammering on to the seventh fret on the fourth string to make that root five power chord so This note is the minor sixth, and this note is the perfect fifth. So again, from the Phrygian mode here, or natural minor. Note that when I hit that, that note on the sixth fret of the sixth string, I'm applying a bunch of vibrato the first time. 
second time through, we're just walking, no vibrato. Hey, if you're getting value out of this lesson, remember to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now the second riff goes like this. This one definitely has a Phrygian feel to it, also uses a flat fifth blue note. So in terms of scale tones here, we have a root, a flat seventh, a minor third, a flat second, which is what gives it that Phrygian feel. Then you've actually got a flat fifth up here, a perfect fourth here, and then this double stop, which is actually the root octave from this chord something that Kirk does a lot is basically play what would be a power chord here but of course you can't fret these notes back here so he just plays what would be like I said the fifth root. So the riff again Notice I've got the quick muted down up stroke going on in there. And so the final riff here goes like this. Again, you've got that flat second giving this riff that Phrygian feel. And again, flat sixth, perfect fifth from the first riff. send out a huge, huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon. With a very special thank you to all of our Rift Lord tier producers. I really appreciate everything you guys do to support the channel and keep these videos coming on a weekly basis. So for more content just like this, you can click the YouTube card directly below me. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you can do so by clicking the round subscribe icon. And so until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your